Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 coming at you. Happy Sunday. Um, just wanted you to see my hair. As you can see, it's sort of big today. Um, really didn't do a whole lot to it. I um, did my wash day yesterday, which I co-wash with uh, the FIM co Coconut Co-Wash. And um, I have to say that I think I'm really going to like this co-wash. Um, I will actually do a review after I've used it several times. So, but so far, um, I like it. I like the way that my hair felt after um, I finished using it. And I did use the co-wash on my daughter's hair as well. So, um, and then what I want to say, because a lot of um, people who use the co-wash, I went on um, Amazon.com and I was reading the reviews, and I also went on some of the natural. Um, uh, hair care forms and I was reading what uh, some of the people, the pros and the cons, but it seems like most of the people um, like it. There were quite a few, um, I would guess, people that had like 4A, 4B type hair or maybe 4B, 4C um, that seemed to be the people that was not that pleased with it, but um, I, I guess, you know, it's, it's like they say, when you purchase a product, you know, either you're going to like it or you're not going to like it, but um, of course, She Naturals is my all time to go, um, and what happened is I actually have some of uh, the She Naturals co-wash, but for some reason it seemed like water got into it because it's, it's sort of liquidy, so um, I'm not going to throw it away because when I get my braids and my daughter gets her braids, um, what I plan to do is uh, get it and pour it in like an applicator bottle, um, you know, with the little skinny um, thing on it, and excuse me, and use that to, you know, like wash our hair. So um, when I place my next order, she naturals, and I'm just going to buy a big thing of it because I like it too. However, um, I try not to run out of my product, and one thing I'm finding, especially my, with my daughter's hair, her hair takes up or eats up or soaks up a lot of conditioner so and co-wash. So um, that's why I was looking at finding something else. And when Mahogany Curl, she talked about it, she raved so much about it, I decided, well, let me try it. Um, I purchased mine at Walgreens. It was like $7.99. Um friend of mine from the hair list, uh, Candice, uh, hi Candice. She mentioned that I could go to Sally's to pick it up. I think it's uh, a little bit cheaper um, if you have a beauty cart, which I do have. Um, the only thing, the closest Sally to me is probably a good 25 to 30 minutes away. Um, there's actually two, but they're both about the same distance away, give or take a little. And so um, I purchased this at Walgreens for $7.99 and I have a Walgreens that's like not even five minutes from my house. So um, I look at it, the gas price is going up. Is it worth me driving out to Sally's to get it? Um, in all actuality, um, I could get it because when I go to the gym, I'm in the vicinity of one of the Sally's, even though it's the opposite direction of the gym, but I could go by there. But um, it's just nice to know that I do have options where I can purchase it at because I will be buying some more. And I'm probably going to pick up about two or three containers um, regardless of where I purchase it at this week because I think I'm sort of liking it. But um, what I wanted to mention too is that you know, um, everybody complained about the container now. This particular one is not, like I said, it's not um, glass. Some people said they have a glass container. But this one isn't. Um, but I guess the thing is, what I would be concerned about keeping this in the shower, and I really never keep too much of my hair products, especially my She Naturals, <laughs> in the shower because I don't want water to get in it. But um, I do have a caddy that I keep on my um, bath and, um, you know, toward the back of it so I can put, like, um, my um, veal fires and so forth so when I'm rinsing henna out, I don't have to go far to get reach my um, conditioner. But what I did do, um, I had showed you a container that I had picked up, a bottle, pump bottle that I got from Walmart. 
Well, I went back because I wanted to find something else. I was trying to find something with um, a larger um, opening, um, but I didn't find one necessarily with a larger opening, but I found this at Walmart too. And this is actually the co-wash that's in here. I took it out of here and I put it in here. And it's 16 ounces and it was filled and this is how much I used between my daughter and myself because I had to do my daughter's hair twice. And I love the way that it uh, pumps. It pumps really good. Um, I got this. It was over and it's a mainstay soap pump. That's what it's called. It's 16 ounces. And it was like three dollars and some odd cents, like three dollars and seventy three cents or something like that. Don't completely quote me. But the other one I picked up it was like six dollars. But I am gonna keep that, but I'm gonna use it for like lotion or something that I wanna um put or maybe even the you know, the soap liquid soap and put it in one of my bathrooms. But I will be purchasing some more of these for uh, probably putting like um, other things that I'm making and um, the other thing I need to do and thank you Shelly <laughs> uh, she had mentioned to me about labeling my products for the most part I remember what I have because I can once I smell something I know what I do but I think what I'm going to start doing is um, because my schedule is getting ready to get a little busy soon so I'm going to buy up as many of these as I can and then I'm going to get a label maker so that I can label so I'll know exactly what. But again, um, for ladies that want to use this or haven't found anything, um, you can find this. I did try to find it in the dollar store. I did not find it in any of the ones I went to. Not to say that they don't, so you might want to try there first. But I do know that they have this in Walmart. They probably have it in Target, but they definitely have it in Walmart. And it's uh, it's my glass. It's, it's heavy plastic too, but it's rock hard. And I love the pump. It's great. And how? I guess you say, well, how did you get that in there? Because as you can see, um, the top is not that big either. But what I use, and this is creamy as you see it's, it's pretty thick so just want you to see it's it's thick and that's what I like about it too but I have these babies they call funnels well that's what we used to call them but um, I actually use this size one to put it in but I have a larger one too as you can see it's pretty large so all you do is use this and um you know, you spoon it in, and then you can just use a knife or the bo the bottom of the the handle of the spoon of the you know whatever you're using to put it in, and just help it get down in there. And it pretty much put it all down in there. So um, that's just what I had left out of that. And I'm gonna keep this container because um, I might find something else, some other use for it since it's dark and. It's not glass, but it's hard plastic, so it'll work. But um, I just wanted to show you ladies that, so if you're interested in it. Now, the other thing is um, I had been waiting on, um, because my goal is to co-wash during the week, and I will be washing my hair on, like, the weekend, like, say, a Saturday or Sunday. Um, but, and I was going to follow Mahogany Curls, her regiment that she has for the curly girl method. Um, I had ordered some Paul Mitchell, <laughs> uh, the conditioner, because I originally had the, um, I had picked up the, um, what do you call it, generic one from Sally's when I was in South Carolina for over the holidays. And I took it with the shampoo that I had um, home and I left it. <laughs> And so, bottom line, my sister had it. So, I wanted to get it because I'm not only doing it with my hair, but I'm also doing it with my daughter's hair. And my daughter has a lot of hair. So, I wanted to start, um, you know, co-washing her hair. Um, and what I do is I pineapple it and then let her wear it down a couple of days a week. And then, like, maybe by Thursday or Friday, I will put it back, you know, in a little cuff or whatever. Um, I'm probably going to be getting her hair braided 
mm, after her competition in March because I thought about it I want to get it done now but it's like well I did tell her I was going to let her wear it straight so I think I'll just wait until after her competition in March but getting back to the Paul Mitchell um, my order when I order from Amazon.com they are very very their shipping is like really super fast so I had got the um, response from them when I placed the order uh, I think I, I think I placed it earlier in like that morning and by the afternoon um, I have received notification that the product has shipped. So I was like, oh good, I think this may have been like uh, Friday. And it, it was one day shipping because I think it was um, free shipping for the product. And so, you know, I got this with some other things. Monday came, I didn't get a package because normally what happens when it comes to UPS, the postman will put whatever packages I have right at my door and he'll ring my doorbell. That's how I know that my packages are there. So, um, and I know what time the mailman runs here. Normally he comes to my neighborhood about three something because I, my daughter gets off her school bus a little bit after four and normally he's here before her school bus gets here. So, Monday had been come, Tuesday had been come, but Wednesday I was like, you know, because Wednesday is sort of like junk mail day, I was like, that is really strange. So, um, long story short, yesterday, which was Saturday, um, I had already started working on my hair and I had said, oh man, you know, I wish the mailman had come early because, you know, I could have got the Paul Mitchell and used that and, and just tested it out, but I was like, okay, I'll just use it on my wash that I do Monday or Tuesday. Well, um, I just happened to say, well, let me check the status to see when it was so Sarai, because I know I should have gotten here like earlier in the week. And um, sure enough, I checked the status, and it showed that not only had it been shipped, but that it had been re received by the Postal Service, and it had been delivered. And it was delivered on last Monday, the 4th of February. And I'm like, <laughs> so I um, contacted Amazon because it was one of their, it was actually their um, seller that I purchased it from or someone that's selling Amazon LLC or whatever. So I called them and uh, they were gracious enough, the young lady, their customer service is excellent. That's why I love shopping on Amazon. And so bottom line, she ended up, she's sent out another one and um, she said it should be there by Tuesday and she's going to give me a call on Tuesday to make sure I, I got it. Well, just so happened I heard the postal guy come a couple hours later so I went outside and when he came up I happened to mention it to him and so he said, well, I don't work on Tuesday so it's like, mmm, a new person, okay. So he gave me the number for their supervisor and I contacted them because I'm like, okay, if he doesn't work on Tuesday, apparently they got someone else and I don't know if this person is not honest <laughs> or if they deliver it to the wrong place. But I did call the supervisor and I'm still waiting on their response. But um, that was the first time that I've ever had that happen to me. I know that I was looking... Um, at the news over the holidays, especially around Christmas time, like, you know, right after Black Friday, leading up to Christmas, and they were showing where, um, you know, especially people who worked and they were, you know, receiving uh, items or, you know, you know, you were sending packages to someone, and they actually showed where this lady's camera, because she had a camera on, her, I guess, her, her house or somewhere, but they show where the postman delivered this lady's packages and it actually was, was more than one person and then right after the postman left someone came who didn't live there came and took the packages off of the, the people's uh, porch and I just think that's really ungodly so you know I'm just praying maybe it was just a you know miss spell you know maybe they thought they had delivered the package and it wasn't delivered, but either way, you know, another one is on the way, so I just wanted to bring the attention to the Postal Service, so if, um, you know, they got someone that's not, you know, paying attention to where they're delivering items, they'll know, because that's, like I said, that's the first time that ever happened to me, but 
I don't know why I had I said that, but I just wanted to let you know if you're receiving packages. And one of my other friends, um, Hair List for Ruth, <laughs> that's why I think I said it because Ruth, uh, she had mentioned about she has her furniture rearranged in her house so she can see the post. The postal man, the UPS man, whoever's coming, especially when she's suspecting packages. So I guess Tuesday I will be on my keys and keys to make sure I'm right out there when the postman comes. But the other thing I wanted to just mention, um, I was in Walmart shopping. Yes, I'm an avid Walmart shopper, even though I keep saying I'm going to stop shopping at Walmart. Because I, I don't think that they're really... You know, it kind of sort of saves you a lot of money, but they just have all the convenience of everything. And yes, I do. I like shopping at Walmart. But um, I picked up these three dresses from there, and you will never guess how much I paid for these. And they're long. They're really long. Um, and I got three different ones, but they were on sale for... I don't know if you can see that or not, but they were on sale for three dollars each. So <laughs> I got three, and um, I figured, you know, it's a good deal because I do like sundresses. Um, I wear them all the time, even sometimes when it's cold. It's cold because, like this dress I have on right now, is short sleeve, but I have a jacket on, so. Um, I'll be going on a cruise next, this October coming up, and I will probably be taking these because we're going to the Bahamas, and it's a nice, um, you know, just a nice dress to wear afterwards, um, you know, when you're on the beach or in the evening before it gets, the sun goes down and with a nice pair of sandals or, you know, you can put a nice size heel on them and, a jacket or something and dress it up, but um, I thought that was unique and it's amazing because normally I do not look on sale racks, but I saw everybody around the sales rack and I was like, why is everybody around the sales rack? So when I walked up and I saw these dresses and I looked at the price, I was like, oh, so let me just get these colors. And actually there was a solid green that I should have got too. But if they have it still, I'm going to go back and I'm going to get it. Maybe it'll be on sale for a dollar. But um, I figure I'm going to start looking because uh, I am in the process of losing weight. So I don't want to spend a lot of money for clothes right now. Um, but if I can find some, you know, nice pieces here and there, then uh, I will probably pick them up, especially at $3 a piece. But, you know, that's just my little thing. Um, since I'm not working, and I figure, um, and speaking of that, um, the dollar store, I was, I was going to mention too, that it's amazing, they're starting to get very nice things in there, and when I say very nice things, um, uh, sometimes when I go in the dollar store, I'm going in there mostly for, like, conditioner, or I'll buy little things like, you know, this, or look for something like this. But I was in there on, I think it was Friday, and I decided to, you know, just take my time to look because it's like they have so much stuff, and it's like sometimes it's like, okay, well, you really need to go look to see what they have in there. So I did, and they had some really nice stuff in there, stuff that I wouldn't have thought that they would have carried. So what I will be doing is going to different areas, looking at, um, their stuff because they have some really really nice stuff in there so just a little tip you know if you're looking for decorating ideas um they got furniture they got cloths they got pictures i mean it's very nice stuff and it's so amazing because some of the stuff i was like hmm i think this is where my some of my in-laws got some of their stuff from because you can mix it and match it with your nice furnishings and it looks like it's like you spent a lot of money for this stuff i'm telling you it's just that nice so um girlfriend i told my husband we will be moving in june and um a lot of what we have now we've had for a long time so i told him when we move i don't want to take it with me <laughs> 
So I'm just going to start buying, especially like, you know, pictures and socks and things that I want to use to decorate the house with. I'm going to start buying those so that I can, um, yeah, decorate on the, you know, cheap side. But, you know, as they always say, one man's treasure or one man's junk is another man's treasure. But um, my video is long, so I better stop. And I will talk to you later. Peace. Have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.